Hello everybody, Sir John Spencer for the Buddha Magic Project and also for those who buy my amulets and those who have Garuda amulets because I made a podcast once with one kata chanting for Busha to Payakrut, the Garuda deity which I just did for Instagram and it only allowed 12 seconds to record so I did it so fast that nobody can get it and people keep complaining so I'm sorry about that and I'm going to do it properly for you now and I'm going to do multiple kata chantings and um, when I upload this to YouTube I will put a link people keep asking me to put the lettering there it takes me ages to make a video and put subtitles on it so I would rather just put a link in the YouTube description to the page on my website with all of the karaoke style phonetic writing for these kata if not I'm not going to be able to get enough work done so here is the first kata which is for if you are going to make puja so busha to the payakrut to the garuda deity with or without amulets don't forget magic you chant to your amulets but these are magic spells invocations incantations and so on some people have curses too I don't want to talk about that um, and so actually you know when you're chanting to your amulet you think uh, the maker is a magic maker and you take your magic amulet and you sit there chanting actually you're doing magic yourself because you're chanting a spell if not what are you chanting it for if you don't think you can do magic and so actually the magic continues with you kata busha payakrut very slowly om ka ru pi cha ki ti man tang ma a u om paya krut rut rut lao ruai na dai ngen na dai thong na dai sap na dai bun barami na man kong na lang a than na je rin na rung reang na rung rot na meta atitami and if you press pause and teach yourself each phrase you don't really need any karaoke writing I always tell people that too when they ask me to write it for them you should listen to the sound I'll do it again now more rhythmically Om Karubi Jagiti Mantang Ma Au Om Paya Krut Rut Rut Lao Ruai Na Dai Ngen Na Dai Thong Na Dai Sap Na Dai Bun Barami Na Mang Kong Na Lang Atan Na Jeren Na Rung Rung Na Rung Rot Na Meta Atitami. So when you're good at it, that's what it should sound like. So we'll go on to the next one, which is the Heart Mantra. I've had people accuse me and make statements on um, YouTube when I say kata hua jai, heart mantra. Because kata, kata is, it means actually a speech or a, a saying. Kata, when the Buddha gave a speech, uh, spoke something, you know, he gave a discourse that was a kata. Whereas for modern amulet collectors and uh, occultists, a kata is some kind of magic spell. Kata actually means a speech. <coughs> so kata, hua jai, hua jai means heart, payakrut, of the great Garuda. Uh, the words to speak in the heart form, which means abbreviated so hua jai heart mantra is the abbreviated mantra the short version for busha to payakrut people telling me this is a kata it's not a mantra and 
a mantra comes from mantra which actually is more to do with magic spells than the word kata because kata means speech and mantra means prayer or spell and actually if you get past your conditioning uh, incantation spell or prayer or whatever they're all just different words for the same thing so just get past it so second kata now is the kata hua jai paya krut and i'm calling it the heart mantra for the garuda very easy it goes like this karuto karuta pati sawami i am putting a ka karuto karuta pati sawami you can also skip the little a sound between the k and the r and say Kruto Kruta Bati Sawami. Mm. I say it myself, I would say Karuto Karuta Bati Sawami. Kruto Kruta Bati Sawami. Kruto Kruta Bati Sawami. And that's it. Kruto Kruta Bati Sawami. Okay. Kata Huajai Payakrut. You can use that any time you need to quickly call upon the Garuda. <coughs> uh, there is another kata for Busha Payakrut, which there are various. There are many ways to pray to something, and many ways to talk to somebody, and there are many ways to ask for something. And there are also many kata. So this one is in Pali. Because like this kata busha payakrut ahang karuto akato atsami na karache apehi utang na ko heto karut putang tamang sankang saranang iti I'll do it very slowly again once more a hang krut to a ka to at sa mi na ka ra che a pe hi utang na ko he to krut put tang tamang sang kang sa ra nang i ti and we'll give it one more go with a bit of rhythm ahang kruto a kato at samina kara che ape hi utang na ko he to krut put tang tam mang sang kang sa ra nang i ti ahang means me kruto to the payakrut akato atsami nakarache nakarache means the naga kings because if you know that the payakrut is usually flanked or riding holding two nagas there's an ancient legend where they had an argument and a fight and uh, both of them are unbeatable and um, um, so powerful but uh, the garuda actually managed to subdue the naga <coughs> and that is why in, in Thai Buddhism, in legend and mythology, we say that the Naga is only afraid of Garuda, but is otherwise not afraid of anything. Mm -hmm. Just a little extra. Uh, we have also another short heart mantra, Kata Hua Jai Payakrut. Uh, you can chant this three or nine times, or 108 if you want, or just once. If you're powerful, if you know how to really invoke it, get goosebumps, really feel it, the prana flying through your system of your five aggregates of your body, illuminating your mind. If you can do that, you do it once. Anyway, this hard mantra goes like this. It's very short. And three, two, three, or five, or seven, or nine, or a hundred and eight times. If you really, really uh, addicted to that kind of uh, concept, it goes like this: Ahang karutra rena, mm. ahang 
ครุทราเรนะอะหังคารุทราเรนะ That's it. Short h a w a i i mantra, and a very traditional one, which is a bit of a mix with uh, Thai and Pali and. Uh, Probably a bit of Devanagari in this one, <coughs> so this is probably comes from the time when uh, Buddhism and Brahmanism was still uh, mixing itself around in Savanapum in the Siamese Kingdom and Southeast Asia, and um, the Thai language was invented. And so th this one's a bit of a let's uh, if it was a plate of food, I'd say it's fusion cookery. But anyway. Here it goes. That's a traditional Thai kata for b u s h a t a p a y a k r u t Om Kruto Kruta Maha Kamlang Bapa Satang Na Tante Tepi Petalaya. One more time, a little bit more connected. Om Kruto Kruta Maha Kamlang Bapasatang Na Tante Te Pi Pe Talaya. You might hear the word P and Pe might make you think of uh, ghosts. P and Pe Pe uh, the 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 hungry ghosts. <coughs> And that is because this particular kata for b u s h a t a p a y a k r u d is used for banishing or exercising ghosts, demons, and sampawesi. Sampawesi are like um, if you lived in the deep forest, especially here in Southeast Asia, you would see phantom forms. They're quite glowing forms, and they roll around. The the kinds of ghosts, sampawesi, they're nature spirits, right? I think we call them fairies. And so, for banishing or exercising uh, ghosts and demons or any kind of um, disturbed s a m p a w e s i you would use that kata. Om Kruto Kruta Maha Kamlang b a p a s a t a n g Na Tan Te Te Pi Pe Talaya. Muslims have something similar when they go into a bathroom because they believe that demons or uh, dark spirits like to stay in shitty places. So they they will always have a word they say Bismillah. If you go into the toilet and you're Muslim, you have to say Bismillah. So it's a kind of Bismillah for Buddhists using Garuda to banish and chase away any demons and sampawesi and ghosts. And. Uh, I think that's about it, except for to explain that uh, the Garuda is one of the higher celestial realm dwellers. Uh, Payakrut is the Thai name for the Garuda deity, and according to Thai Buddhism, uh, performing busa and chanting kata to Payakrut uh, will bring status and riches, gold, possessions. Increase your popularity and preference from others, especially in the profession, which will increase chances of promotion <coughs> or status. Also, bring you maha amnat. So, if you're in a position where you need to command people and uh, you need obedience, it's also very good. And we'll clean black black magic or bad karmic influence and negative energies from your psyche and the household. By wearing it, but b u s h a i t in your heart, you have to think of these principles, because all things are personified principles, uh, including Garuda, including stars, including uh, um, the laws of physics, and including us. We are just personified manifestations of cosmic principles, and we use visualization to be able to get to grips with such abstract things as magic. Mm, the Garuda is a very mighty deity, has so much commanding power, and he also symbolizes development, which, of course, in your profession for promotion, that is development, and advancement and prosperity. Uh, so um, it advances your household, of course, <coughs> and your own pro and your own profession and life, uh, and your status and your influence.
he's the lord of all birds so he is the the deity of all flying creatures and apart from that he's the steed or how you would say the sacred vehicle what do you call that the steed uh, who is used by Pratnarai or uh, Visanutnarayan hmm? the Vishnu Deva he rides upon the Garuda just as Brahma rides upon the swan hmm? some people put him actually on a peacock or a swan it's a swan Garuda is also blessed with invincibility so you have Kongrapan and immortality no weapon in the universe can destroy him so this represents Kongrapan and even the lightning bolts of the god Indra are said to be unable to harm him he also represents uh, quick wittedness intelligence and wisdom uh, but is not connected with arrogance and has great respect for others <coughs> and so uh, to use Garuda magic to command your underlings you might be an army general or you might be a CEO or whatever you need to respect the people's work even if they are of lower status and you must not be arrogant because if you do that you are not reflecting the aspects of Garuda right so you're wearing Garuda using Garuda magic you have to also behave according to Garuda's principles he's an honorable Deva and he's worthy of admiration and so to be a powerful and influential leader you have to also be an honorable leader and worthy of admiration just like Garuda don't forget this huh? people want magic and results and they're sometimes not willing to be what they have to be to get those results because you have to put work into it things don't just come at the snap of a fingers and magic just doesn't work automatically you know if you get a amulet to help you find a job and then lay on the sofa all day don't look for a job how is the amulet going to help you you know Garuda is very well known for um, having a strong effect on the development and the advancement of success and professional status and to increase income and wealth and is very popular in Thailand with civil servants, the police, the military or any other officials uh, uh, of state and teachers and this kind of thing all should carry and usually do carry, wear and worship Garuda as well as uh, uh, those who protect the nation or its leaders you know, like bodyguards or the army or the border patrols and the coast guard and this kind of thing and especially the air force of course hmm? he's excellent protection if you believe in the magic of Garuda against ghosts and wicked spirits and as to Sampawesi who I already spoke about which I already spoke about uh, phantoms he eats them he, he just eats them up as food and nourishment it's like uh, nectar to him and in Vedic legends very old thousands of year old Vedic legends I'm not sure which uh, Veda you can find this in Garudra is said to have one day <coughs> he couldn't find any food and so he went off trying to catch some Naga serpents but uh, Pranarai meaning uh, Vishnu avatar the, the god Vishnu uh, saw that this would just cause trouble and a lot of reverberations to people who weren't even involved uh, around the universe because the Nagas they reside under the rule of the Anantanakarad uh, the king of the Nagas who is a very powerful god and so Vishnu uh, interceded and he gave Garuda permission to eat any Sampovesi uh, um, harmful minded uh, phantoms that were bothering the human race and take them as his food and enabled him to be able to absorb this energy as nourishment he bestowed this power upon the Garuda and so uh, apart from this lastly I would say the Garuda is also uh, fully empowered to hunt down and banish any obstacles or negative energies within within you which are stopping you from attaining your success or your happiness and your peace and anyone aiming anyone who is uh, planning or trying to take advantage 
will be uh, will fail in their task of destroying or hurting you with your feelings or or trying to harm you they won't succeed if you have Payakrut uh, if he's got your back right and so that's my modern interpretation of something very ancient thousands of years old older than Buddhism and I hope this helps you to do your kata for Bhushata Payakrut and to understand the principles of Garuda and to remember that you should emulate the meritorious um, personality and merits of the Garuda when you wear his amulets or Busha his statue or just Busha him in your mind if you want to be a influential leader and successful and gain promotion always remember he doesn't look down on people he respects his minions and he's an admirable person with great honor so these are the principles that are going to make your employees or the soldiers who you command respect you and wish to obey you and they will have your back just like Garuda well there it goes the podcast about how to push up Ayakrut Sir John Spencer for my Buddha Magic project and to post this on my amulet stores for amulets which need this kata and uh, just for anyone interested to try to increase knowledge about uh, Thai Buddhism's version of Payakrut Garuda Ajahn Spencer signing off <laughs>